a vision of Britain's near future may be. If famous, Spain's equivalent of the Nightingale Hospital, a 1,300-bed facility in Madrid. When it opened on March the 21st, staff complained it was chaos and hygiene was poor. But now it's treating effectively mainly patients with moderate symptoms, while hospital ICUs are dedicated to treating more serious cases. In Spain, the spread of COVID-19 appears to be decreasing. Se ve en estos dos últimos días, sí que es verdad que que se nota porque nosotras todas tenemos gente que trabaja en hospital y y sí que se está notando sí. mucho. Que sí. creemos que está estamos viendo la luz ya. Sí. Estamos viendo y la luz. Y aquí muchos pacientes se están yendo también. Sí, sí. De ya que no Entonces, sí, se más abierto más, también camas de UCI para dar salida sí, a los pacientes claro. que se complican aquí, o sea que también es importante eso. Sí. Adiós, campeona. Scenes like this, where a patient is released from ICU, were encouraging. In Spain, the gap between lockdown and levelling off has been about three weeks. Who has ever seen Paris like this? Although the rate of increase in France has been declining for the past week, the government says the epidemic hasn't yet reached its peak and the streets must remain deserted for now. Nous sommes encore en phase d'aggravation de cette épidémie sur le territoire national. On voit que l'aggravation de l'épidémie est en train de se freiner sous l'effet du confinement et des mesures qui ont été mises en place, mais elle se poursuit. Italy, the worst affected country in Europe, saw a peak in infections just as the UK went into lockdown on March the 23rd. As in Spain, infections started to decline steadily about three weeks after lockdown. But the government won't lift the curbs on movement until they have more widespread testing. They're also looking at health data tracking, possibly an app like those adopted in China and South Korea, to follow people's medical status. And that might enable a lifting of lockdown in mid-April. And after that, uh, we can restart uh, some things. Obviously, you need to uh, have people far away, you know, with the distance. And I think it will be very important the use of the mask, the larger use of uh, swabs to detect to get uh, active disease. Uh, plus, I think the health of technology will be very useful to, to, track, uh, to track people. In the central rest area of the massive field hospital in Madrid, civilian volunteers relax alongside the military. Music and optimistic slogans are all around. But it's patients recovering and infections declining that really boost morale. And for the UK, the hope that the improvement seen in parts of Europe foreshadows our own.